the book of, of Exodus chapter 6. The book of Exodus chapter 6. Rito Tomobala Mola. Arito me mola hu 8. And I will bring you into the land which I saw to give to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And I will give it to you as heritage. I am the Lord. So Moses spoke thus to the children of Israel. But they did not heed Moses because of anguish of spirit and cruel bondage. Verse 10. And the Lord spoke to Moses saying, Go in, tell Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to let the children of Israel go out of his land. And Moses spoke before the Lord saying, The children of Israel have not heeded me. How then shall Pharaoh heed me? For I am of uncircumcised lips. Then the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron and gave them a commandment for the children of Israel and for Pharaoh king of Egypt to bring the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Let us pray. Father, thank you for this beautiful word you have given unto us today. Father, I reveal it unto us and I make us understand it in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will say the heading of what we are going to speak about today is God will make a way. God will make a way. Here we are hearing the story of the Israelites like us. By Israel, it was long they've been in Egypt. Where we have read the Bible spirit, their spirits were down. Why? Because they were under bondage. Now, even when the time of their freedom comes, they don't realize it. When Moses came to explain to them that God has sended me and he told me thus and thus, they didn't even listen to what he was saying. Why? Because it was long they've been in bondage and their spirit, they've got, they have already lost interest in the God of Israel. In other words, the generation that was living by then didn't know the God of the Israelites. They didn't understand him. They didn't know how capable he is. They don't even know the things he can do. They don't even know the extent or how big the things he can be able to do. Now when Moses came to them and explained that God has sent me, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. He said, this is your time for freedom. This is your time to go back to the promised land. The Bible says, they didn't listen to Moses. The reason of them not listening to Moses is because it was long they've been in this state. It was long they've been under bondage. They never thought a day of freedom will come to them. Maybe they were thinking the day of freedom will come in the next generation, not their generation. They didn't believe that God can take them to the promised land. These people of Israel, when they were in Egypt, they knew very much well that they have a God. Can you tell the person that is close to you, a God? 
Now this God that they were having is not like any other God. Remember, for the children of Israel to find themselves in Egypt, it was because of a man called Joseph. The children of Israel find themselves in Egypt because Joseph was sold. I want you to look at the plan of God. Joseph was sold by his brothers. And when he was sold, he was sold to the Amalekites. And when the Amalekites went away with him, they sold him again. Until Joseph found himself in the house of Pharaoh. Why? After being jailed and all this thing and all this thing, he found himself in the house of Pharaoh in Egypt. Now, when he was in the house of Pharaoh, the purpose of God started manifesting. Drought came. Hunger came. And when hunger came, the brothers, the same brothers of Joseph who sold him, went to Egypt to go and search for what? Food. Now, when they reached there, they found this man selling food to everyone who was coming to buy food. Joseph by then was now seated at a higher post. Why? Because of the same wisdom that made the brothers to sell him away. Can somebody say hallelujah? The same wisdom, or let me say rather, the same spirit that was upon Joseph, that made his brothers to sell him, was the same spirit again, that is making Joseph now to be the one selling food to them. So now when they reached there, because Mona, they were already mentally poverty mentality. It was already in them. All they wanted was food for their families. All they wanted was something to, to take back to their homes. When they were looking, they didn't even see, what will I say, something that can make them to realize, oh, this is our brother. Huh? Do you know why? Because they sold him the, because they wanted to get him away. To do away with him. Now, when Joseph sold them food, then he said to them, where is your brother? They don't even ask themselves, well, is he a prophet? Why is he asking us about our brother? And how does he come to know about our brother? Huh? What was the problem with? Don't, don't even realize. But what I want us to look at, children of God, today is that God has a way of doing his things. God knew that drought was going to come. Hunger was going to come. Famine was going to come. And this famine is going to take the whole world, affect the whole world. He prepared a savior before the famine comes. He made sure that Joseph is in Egypt before the famine started. Are you hearing me? Okay. Now when Joseph is in Egypt, people are buying food. He told his brothers, where is my father? Bring the last born of your parents. Hey, if we can bring him, hey, if we don't go back with him, hey, we will be in They don't even realize. Because they used to call him dreamer. He was always dreaming. They don't even realize that it's the same man again. Now, when he was asking them a lot of questions, they don't even realize, oh, this is our brother. Maybe because of the way he was wearing. 
Maybe because of the way he was talking, maybe he was talking in authority because already he was up there. Maybe because of whatever and whatever, I don't know, but they were not even able to recognize him. Until he commanded them to go and fetch his father and the whole family and come with them to Egypt so that they can live there. So that they can eat mahala. Eh? Eat freely like other people of Egypt. And then they went back to take their father, their mothers, their families and they brought them down to Egypt. Now where we are reading is by the time after many years when Joseph has died, when things have passed on and passed on and passed on, until a king came that never knew about the man called Joseph. Are you hearing me? A king that never understood a story of the man called Joseph. And now, when the time has come for the children of Israel to leave this place because they were under bondage, this king made sure that the children of Israel will work so hard. Why? Because they said they are women, they are wives, give birth to strong children. Have you ever read the Bible? It says their wives gave birth to strong children. Now the king said, if this tribe can go on growing and growing and growing and having this kind of strong children, they will take over the kingdom. So let us make sure that they work in bondage and work so very, 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 very hard so that they become sick, so that they become tired, so that they don't become strong, so that they can be what they are not thinking they want to be, so that we can compress them and put them down, so that they must not realize and think well. Kanti King Pharaoh didn't know that there is a way of God. When they were like putting down the Israelites, beating them each and every day, speaking with them in an unfriendly way, doing whatever they were doing unto them, they didn't know that they were provoking the way of God the Father. Now all the time when they were being beaten, oppressed and everything, these children of Israel will cry and say, God of Abraham, God of our father, where are you? We are under bondage here. God of our father, come and rescue us. Wafika lungkulungkulu, God of their father. Through Moses. Moses called them together. And he said, I've been sended by your God. I believe like us this day. Your God sent me to you. Said so then. He said, I must come and tell you, you must prepare yourself because we have to move out of this country, out of this land. And they say, I'm afraid. Uh, just leave this thing you are doing. It's long we've been here. It's long we've been suffering. Even we are used to it. You know, it's our bread and tea. You know, when you wake up in the morning, you must run to somebody's field and work and work and work and work. And after when you come back home, you are very tired. We are used to these things now. Don't tell about us going home. And Moses said to them, you believe, you remember, God has promised your forefathers that you will go back to the promised land. They say that we know, like about Pulusova Taris, Mara Ee Musukutlalangat. Yeah, we are hearing you. But the issue of going to the promised land, that one we don't believe. And now God appeared again to Moses and said, Go to Pharaoh. The problem is, even the children that you want to deliver, they don't even believe. When you tell them God is there, they don't believe. When you tell them God can heal you, they don't believe. When you tell them God can set you free, they don't even believe it. Now, when I go to explain this thing 
to Pharaoh, is he going to believe what I'm going to say? Can somebody say hallelujah? Hallelujah. Now, when Moses has explained all these things to the father, why he wanted the father to understand. And the father said, I have given you authority over Pharaoh. I've given you superiority over Pharaoh. Whatever that you're going to say, he's going to listen to it. But when you go there, because you are slow in tongue, go with your brother, Aaron. He will be your prophet. That's what the Bible says. He will be your mouthpiece. You will explain to him things and he will explain to King Pharaoh. And Moses said, yeah, God, I will go. And then the Lord called all of them, both of them. He told Moses, what is it that he has to do? Why? Because he was supposed to start a journey of deliverance. Can you tell the person that is close to you, a journey of deliverance? He was supposed to take a big nation back to the promised land. The land that was promised to the forefathers. The forefathers, they don't even know them. But they just heard that there is a promised land. One day we shall go to the promised land. One day there will be no sorrows. One day we will be going to heaven. One day we are going to see the promised land. I believe they were singing so. But when the issue or the words of the promised land came, they never believed in it. So now after being told, God spoke to Moses again. You will go with your brother. Where is your stick? You are going to use this stick with your brother. Whatever I command you to do, you will use this stick in front of Pharaoh so that you can show him that I am God. And now is the time for my people to be let go, to go back and worship me in the promised land. Now when Moses went to Pharaoh, he was having strength now. He was having guards. Why? Because there was a brother close. And a sample has been done in front of him. That is what we Christians, most of us, we do. When we haven't seen by our own eyes, we don't believe. What is it you're holding? A stick, put it down. And they place it down. It changed to a snake. Wow. Pick it up. He took it. It became a road, road again. Oh my God. It's like this thing that God is saying. It's like it's there. It's like it's happening. Hallelujah. Can you tell the person that is close to you? It's like it's happening. It's like this thing is real. Now if you can look in the book of Exodus. The whole of Exodus. Exodus means moving from one place to another. Migrating from one place, moving from one place to another. Now, if you can read closely and nicely, I'm not going to read all of those things that happen and happen and happen until the children of Israel were let go. But the issue is the way of the Lord is not like our own ways. When God does his own things, he does them or do them his own way. Can you tell the person that is close to you? God does his things his own way. If I am an apostle's wife, God might choose or I must not preach. I want you to understand what I'm trying to say. He himself chooses to do things his own way. When the children of Israel were there, he knew way before or after many, 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 
many years, there will be hunger. So this boy must go to Egypt. And now this boy, Joseph, moved from his father's place, sold many times until he reached the house of Pharaoh, being somebody who is a manager on top there. Why? Because there was a way of God. Can you tell the person that is close to you? There is a way of God. And tell, let me tell you, the way of God is not like the ways of men. The way God does his things is not like the way we do things. That is why I am saying he might choose himself. Even if I'm apostle's wife, but I couldn't preach. Hmm? And there was nothing I can do about it. He didn't choose me. So why worry? Now you are in this situation that you are in today. God had allowed it. My God, I don't know why, why, why if you are hearing me. God allowed your situation. Look at this boy. This boy is called a dreamer. Dream, 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 always. And when we wake up in the morning, the only thing he can do, you run to his brothers. Brother, brother, come. Brother, come. I want to tell you something. Today, I dreamed. I dreamed a dream. What was the dream saying? I saw we were bounding, you know, uh, grass. No, I saw all of your grass is falling down and my own standing up. And say, this boy, this boy, this boy. Hey, this boy, this boy, this boy. Hey, this boy, this boy. Hey, it's like a troublemaker. This boy. Always his dreams are saying, my own is standing. Yours is falling down. My own is standing. Yours is falling down, kneeling down. My own is standing. Yours is kneeling down. And envy came into them. They said, this one, we will see. One day when they were out with the, the flocks, father sent the boy to go and check on them. When he was still coming, they say he was having a jacket of many colors. That's what, that was done by the father. Immediately when he was still far, they will see ah, that one is our little brother. There comes the dreamer. What is it that we can do to her today? They sit down. But I let us put him inside these holes that are empty. We leave him there. He will die there inside. But one of them said, after they put him inside, no man, he's our father's blood now. How can we do this to him? It's, oh, okay, look, the Amalekites here, they, let us sold him to the Amalekites. Hmm? Let us sold him, at least, not that he dies. Whatever that will happen to him, there is fine, but let us sold him. Let us not kill him ourselves. It won't be fair. Afita Joseph, he arrived. Wachia, lokelakaramukuti. Die of hunger or whatever. But they speak again. They took him out. When they see the Amalekites. Don't you want somebody to help you in the house? A slave? Or a garden boy? Or you know what? This boy can be of good help. He's very strong. You know this cow is so strong. Yabereka. Wabereka. This boy can work. This boy is energetic. This boy is what what. This boy is what what. And I believe one of them said, I will take him. And he took him. The amazing thing is, I want you to look at the plan of God. When the men of the Amalekites took him, when he goes with him, when he reached forward, we are Limala, he forgets. The words that he heard the brothers saying. I don't believe they just give, gave him off just like that. They might have said something. He forgets when he reaches there. He said, ah, I don't see the importance of this boy. I'm going to sell him. And he went out also. See now, I have a cow here. Don't you want it? It's a good cow. It works. It works. This boy can work. 
This boy can till your ground, you'll never know. You'll never, after a few minutes, he has finished. And you will ask yourself, why this man, one of these Amalekites, didn't keep Joseph? Can you ask the person that is, why this man didn't keep Joseph? Why didn't he stay with Joseph? In his house. Why did he sell Joseph to one of the Egyptians? Are you understanding me? Hallelujah. Now, this Amalekite man sold Joseph to an Egyptian man. There goes Joseph to Egypt. And now when Joseph went to Egypt... That's where the beginning of the plan of Papa God started. Can you tell the person that is told you the plan of God started? When Joseph reached Egypt, he was working in Potiphar's house. Everything was good and well. Until one day, Mrs. Potiphar, and a demon went into her, wanted to sleep with this boy. And this boy ran away. Huh? And everything fell on top of another until he, he was found in jail. Joseph in jail. Can you tell the person that is close to you, God has his own way. When he was in jail, I want to narrate this story and listen to me carefully. When this boy was in jail, Baba Wishi, Baba Yata, Kimaho, Duba Ucha, Badirle, Badirling. They've done whatever they've done. When they reached there, they found a dreamer in prison. This man, Urekishi, he was sold and he was sold and he was manipulated. He was done this and he was done that. But there is one thing that does not go away from him I am a dreamer. I dream dreams. And when I dream dreams, God Almighty give me the interpretation of those dreams. Now when he was in jail, two people came. When they came, they've done whatever they've done. When they've done whatever they've done, they were jailed. And when they were in jail, they had dreams. Joseph interpreted the dreams to them. When he interpreted the dreams, the time came so that they can be released. Exactly what Joseph told them happened to them. Until one day, when this one, a cupbearer who was there out, waking, the king had a dream. Why are you hearing what I'm trying to say? I'm speaking it in Paris so that you can like read the lines that I'm trying to, to tell you. Now this man, when the cupbearer heard that the king had a dream and he wanted somebody to interpret. So when he was seated there, everyone, those wise men and whatever, whatever came and tried to interpret the dream, but they couldn't. And this man remembered, oh, Allah Mahtah. There is this man in jail. I remember. His name is called Joseph. He's a Hebrew. Hmm? This man, oh my king. If you can call this man, I'm telling you. He will come and interpret your dream. They say, go and fetch him. Balata Joseph, That was his day of freedom. Free at last, free at last. Thank God I'm free at last. When Joseph reached there, Hoshiari, if you were now, you can tell me my dream and you explain it again, I will pay you. Joseph explained the dream. 
re khoshi la lora di khomo di khomo tsa tsetsane even those who are so fat like mamruti those who are so thin they ate up those ones that are fat but even though they ate the fat ones you couldn't even see that they've eaten and another dream is there were wheat in the fields there is this this ones that were like they were struck by rain or whatever they were not look good looking and there were these ones that were good looking these ones they ate these ones after eating these ones you couldn't even see that they've eaten and the king said what does it mean you are very much right but what does it mean oh my king seven good years are coming there will be plenty in the land we will have fullness of everything but after these seven years seven years are coming yeah there will be hunger poverty people will be crying because food won't be there so oh my king you can just choose somebody who can build barns that during these years when there is plenty he will harvest the things and put them in the barns so that whomever that will come in need of food will be able to buy the food can somebody say hallelujah now when the king looked he said mm -mm. if i can choose joanna he won't understand lucy uh-uh he won't understand tendo ah uh, no no he won't understand let me just take this man because he understand what he is talking about. He saw what he is talking about. He understand the dream that I have. He even knows the solution of the dream. Now for this thing not to affect us, I have to take this man and make him ruler so that he can do that which he was talking about. God took Joseph and uh, uh, the king took Joseph and said to him, from now on, you are not going back to the prison. You are starting today, you are manager. From prison to manager. Or you know, there was manager at that time, I don't know. But from prison to be a ruler. Managing the wealth of Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you tell the person that is close to you? Are you hearing this? Right where you are today, Wanapapa, Irikubuche. People are playing around with you. People are mocking you. People are saying whatever they are saying about you. Baba wega ufita ina. They are laughing at you like you are a fool. The problem is they don't know. God has allowed you to be in that state for this time. Why? Because he knows that he has his own ways of doing things. The ways of the Lord are not like our ways. You can go for 20 years having nothing, but it will be just a day when God lifts you up. It will be just a day when God takes you from down to up there. It will be just a day when God exalts you to higher places it will be just a day but the issue is go around it about by the way of God himself and somebody now can ask me mama what do you mean what do you mean and I will tell you God has his own way of doing things on a bomb you can be educated and very much educated and somebody who didn't even go to standard 10 can come driving RR before you why because of the anointing of the father it doesn't need you to have this and this and this it needs the favor of the Lord to be upon you when the favor of the Lord is upon you nothing can stop you when the favor of the Lord is upon you they can say whatever they say but nobody can stop you when the favor of the Lord is upon you they can do whatever they do but when the 
There is nothing they can do about you. Now the issue that touches me is those same brothers. Can you tell the person that is close to you? The same brothers. Mm -hmm. hey. uh, I don't know if you are understanding what I'm saying. You know, these brothers, they didn't like uh, Joseph at all, at all, at all, at all. Now the same people, Wanamma, Baba Ulela Wangbaru stock sweets. Fake. Fake. One day they are going, going to come to you and say, Wana bo papa hantu Those people that are saying whatever they are saying about you, those people that are ridiculing you, that are insulting you because of your God. What I can tell you, let me tell you, child of God, God has his own way of doing his own things. He does not do his things according to the way of man. He does things according to his own way. Bobuti, Bafit, Kedumela Ruben, Simeon, Aufita Pelape, this is a ruler now. He's giving commands, isn't it? When you reach there, you have to do what? You have to bow. When they reach there, they bow. Where are you coming from? Uh, we, we are from far east. Far, far, far. Far east, my lord. What do you want? Eh, our father. Our father. Yeah. Eh, ah, we lay away now, Our father. Eh, that there is um, food. Yeah, food, food. Yeah. And he sent us to come and buy some for our own families. Ukarike Mubona Joseph. Ne, ne, ne. Go and read the Bible, it will tell you. I, it will tell you. I'm just trying to explain. Mm -mm. It's like you are. No, my Lord. You, I spy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, we, 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 we can never do that. Nikki is high. I, it's like I'm seeing Ruben. Nikki is Tala, Tala. Is the one that brought us here. If it wasn't because of Tala Morena, we were not supposed to be here. Please, please, we are just here to buy, to buy food. Children crying, anger, killing them all. So please, we just want little, little, so that we can take back to them. Joseph said, I don't trust this man. But Joanna will lose. Mm -mm. I don't trust them. You are here for something else. Or you want to take down the king. Oh, Baba, wait. Children crying. Ongele wa wana mutwa chuile. Lisa kwasi a chaba wana bom mako talu sej. Eh? Even that good English of yours will run away. Avaria, you are here. You want to take over the kingdom from the king. Awsa konobela lisa kore. Me, not here, take king out. Uh -uh. Me, here, food, hunger, stomach empty. <laughs> hey, it's when God has started these things. I want to high hill. They will meet you along the road. And when they ask you, don't tell them, my God has his own way. After that, playing around with them, playing around with them. I'm getting where I'm going. Playing around with them, playing around with them. Oh, my God, 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 If we can come with that one, our father, dead. Our father, no live again, dead. Please, please, just give us food. Eat. Go. Eh? If we bring that small one, father, dead. Because of heart. Heart. 
heart kill father please okay please just give us food we will go this is the trick that i loved the most in the book of exodus it says when they went away he took the cups of the king's house place them inside their sack of corn bonabarwala shibale batsamai habale tsileng they see people following them what's going on now babu chan john udile nokati ya silo lucy udile nokati ya silo tendo udile i did nothing okay we will hear from them and when they reach them they say we have dealt with you mercifully but now you deal with us in a very bad way why are you doing this they say us oh, and nothing we didn't do anything now tell these people they were down 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 by then we didn't do anything serious nothing okay bring down your food atheusa bacheka ma bacheka ba ntola komiki kara saka yo munya ba yo o jehova yo rishwile how did it come inside our f- we don't know but please if you can take this one the smaller one it's when they came back with the smaller one if you take this one our father finish please and they took them back to where joseph was the bible says okarke abamona i believe i my own interpretation i don't say the bible says so i believe when they were taken inside his courts all of them kiadumela they didn't sit on chairs they were all lying down why because they were afraid of the ruler hapeba utsiche they've stolen something precious in the house of the king so i believe they slept down the bible says joseph came out atola di taela jela bana ba bomma watse ba ba robetse fa se motomo ona lare se bo re wa mo dimwa dira hore re soko le so ah suffering eish joseph came and looked at them the bible he said he went back to his closet and cried tears can somebody say cried tears are you getting what i'm saying i want you when you go home you say to that problem that you are having you problem you are a way to god's plan are you hearing me you are a way to the plan of god in my life I'm not going to worry anymore in this problem because I know you are a way to the promised land for me. The Bible said he cried and come back to them. After crying he came started calling them John Lucy Mama Sister Bo but mama girl how is he knowing us? bana ba bomma why now eh i am you niece your sister eh au ri tswarele ngwana bomma ri tswarele tswale ke yo ke yo di thomile a sen ke yo ke yo a a sen na ke yo ke yo di thomile ne re taba re sa go rekisa taba ye botse botse thomile ka thendo thendo ke yo na they don't even recognize the way of god has been fulfilled for them as in nakitomileng ke mang 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 ke na di tomile to na ma way are look at me nicely now look at me get to mela they looked at him they looked maybe he was having a scar somewhere i don't know he showed them the scar maybe he took off that cap he was having of the egyptians they started see they started realizing kanit ki magreen o ene ke yena ene ke ye mona bo mmar tshwarela no i'm not here to say this i'm not here to speak about forgiveness 
what I'm here to speak about. Go back and take my father. Tell him there is sufficient of food in this place. So that you take all your family, all your children, everything that you have to bring it down here. Because there is enough for us all in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says they went away. And they took their families. They came to live in Egypt. What a wonderful plan of God. Can you tell the person that is close to you? What a wonderful plan of God. Now after many, many, many years, Joseph was gone. The king that was there has forgotten, does not even know about the God of the Israelites. The Israelites were suffering. Now when they were crying day in and day out, crying day in, and day out because of the pain that they are having. Because of the load of works that they are having. Because their works were doubled. Their load were doubled many, many, many times. Why they say they are lazy and you know, all these kind of things. After they have cried and cried, God in heaven heard their cries. And he came down and said, Moshe, it's time for you to go and deliver my children. I have heard their cries. I have heard them calling upon me. I have heard them saying, God of Abraham, can you come to our help? Now I'm coming down to come and help them. And then God came. When God came, spoke with Moshe. Moses, go do this, 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 this. When you are inside the poverty, they call it in English abject poverty. Can you tell the person that is close to you, abject poverty? Now, when God enters into your life, He changes you 360 degrees. He changes you from head to toes. He changes you the way you talk. He changes you the way you walk. He changes you the way you dress up. He changes you the way you do things. He even changes your language the way you talk. Why? Because he has his own ways. Can somebody say hallelujah? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you tell the person that is close to you, the ways of God are not like the ways of man. God has his own ways. God works according to his own way. Let us go to read, I believe I've explained it enough. Go John chapter 14, 5, 6. Johanne 14. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. And how can we know the way? Six, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Can somebody say hallelujah? Now here we are hearing the apostles of Jesus asking Jesus about the way to heaven. When we were reading, we were reading the Old Testament. Even though some these days are saying the Old Testament does not matter anymore. It matters a lot. Because it's the shadow of what is happening right now. Hallelujah. Now, the apostles were asking Jesus or the disciples were asking him. How will we know the way? And he said to them, I am the way, the truth and the life. You cannot come to the Father except you come through me. In other way, the way that you are living right now is not the way that you are supposed to go on living. You are supposed to change the way you are doing things. That is why when I hear people talking, I will say to them, Christianity is not a religion, it's a lifestyle. Because when you come to be born again, you change the way you do things. Can somebody say hallelujah? Hallelujah! You know, along the road when you become a Christian, you must change the way you think your things. You must change the way you perceive your things. You must change the way you do your things. You must do the things according to the way of God. I have explained to you how the way of God helped the Israelites. Now we are coming to our own selves. How the way of God can help us. John chapter 14 verse 1 to 7. I am the way, the truth, and the life. 
Nobody comes to the Father except through me. Now Jesus is talking. He is telling them, I am the way. When you want to live accordingly, or according to the way that God wants, you have to live the way that I'm telling you. Hallelujah. 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 In John chapter 14, from verse 1 to 7, it's saying, the pilotal in Addis Fulwe, the Melangon Nali to Melagun Tate, Ntongian Taton Ali Madul, I care. We know it, we don't have to read it or go down with it. Now, the same father of the Israelites is now our father, according to John 14. Eh? According to what? The father of the Israelites, that one who works according to his own ways, is now our father. Can you tell the person that is he is now our father? He is the one now who is going to make a way for us. He is going to open a way for us. If you can look at the issue of the Israelites, they will reach a place where there will be a sea. A sea will open and they will walk in dry land. A river will open, they will walk in dry land. They will reach a place where there is no food. Food will rain from heaven, prepared, fried, and everything, and they just come and eat. Now the same God is now our God. Tell the person that is close to you, he is now our God. And we are going to live according to his laws. We are going to live according to his plans. We are going to live according to what he says. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me, somebody? Are you hearing me, somebody? Now, when this God is now our God through Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we must live according to his ways. Tell the person that is close to you, I am closing now. Live according to his way. When you read in the book of Psalm 37, verse 3 to 4, it says, trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feel on his faithfulness. Feed on his faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord. And he shall give you the desires of your heart. Number one, when you want to live according to the way of God, you must trust in him. Tell the person that is close to you, trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. As again, are you trusting in the Lord? Psalm 115 verse 15 says, Fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. You are writing it down, isn't it? Psalm 118 verse 8 says, It is better to trust in the Lord than to trust in the man or in man. It says, number one, trust. Number two, fear. It's better to trust in him, stay in him, focus in him, than to focus in the ways of men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, in Proverbs chapter 3, this is what you have to do. This is what you have to do when you want to go by the ways of the Lord. Hallelujah. Chapter 3, verse 5, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Hey. Lean not on your own understanding. Can you tell the person that is to lean not on your own understanding? Eh? The Bible says, if you want to be in the way of God, lean not on your own understanding. That is what is killing us. Can you tell the person that is close to you, you know too much. Hallelujah. Now in the book of Proverbs chapter 23 verse 4. I've loved this one. Don't overwork to be rich. Can somebody open it and say, 
o se ka pele bo bereka kudu yo nna mawe do not overwork to be rich because of your own understanding seize likwele baibe eh o se ka te bola ya ka mereko go ya ka dithaloganyo tsa hao o nna ga na o ruta ba se modima nya ka go e ba sona ntle we e ka se tsuwe e dira ga etse nko o yeme eh in other words this verse kale thoma mara le ntshwarele this verse is telling you even if you can wait and work 24/7 you can never be the same as the child of god if you can have 17 businesses you can never be above a child of god because in god there is peace in god there is joy in god there is abundance of grace in god there is love in god there is everything that man needs now you can have everything of this world but you can never have the joy of the lord you can never have the joy and the peace of the lord hallelujah are you hearing me Can you tell somebody that is close don't overwork yourself God has his own way When you do things according to the way of God you will prosper even if everything is disagreeing in your time You will go forward even if even if everything is disagreeing around you as long as you are doing it according to the way of God If God was able to, to take the Israelites out of Egypt, it means he can take you out of that poverty. If God has taken the Israelites out of Egypt, it means God can give you a beautiful wonderful job. If God has taken the children of Israelites out of Egypt, it means God can give you the marriage that you are crying for. If God has taken out the children, hey, it means God can give you the car that you are crying for. The only thing that is needed to do things according to the way of God. God has own his own ways. Hallelujah. I am finishing. Can you tell the person that is close to you? Do things according to the way of God. God has got his own ways. Hallelujah. Kiwa baka yi batho ba itapetsitseng ba itshwena how many people have troubled themselves trying to be what others are but they've never been to that point why because god has got his own his own way of doing things when it's your time for god to bless you nobody can stop that blessing if it is your time for god to elevate you nobody can, can stop that elevation if it's your time for god to promote you nobody will be able to stop that promotion why god has got his own way of doing things if god has done it to the children of israel who were not even recognizing what was said to him how about you who is always dwelling in his presence i believe the secret is in god has got his own ways let us follow his ways hallelujah can you tell the person that is close to you let us follow the way of god tell the person that is close to you god's way is not your way god does his things in his own way are you hearing me can you ask the person that is close to you are you following those things we were talking about are you trusting in the lord are you fearing the lord are you deep in him trusting in him are you not leaning in your own understanding Are you not overworking yourself thinking that you will reach some day one somewhere some day God is righteous in all, all his ways Mudima ha ri shufa tsa i o ri shufa tsa ka u fela u ya ka moelo wa rena Remember I just said when we were giving when God comes to reward you he rewards you according to the way you were giving Hmm Why because he is righteous in all his ways Mudimo wa shwa rena ha furi Tell the person that is close to you he is not a robber He does not rob Can we go and live according to the ways of God 
Can we go and do things according to the ways of God? Let us not lean on our own understanding. Let us believe the same thing that he has done to the Israelites, he can do it for us. The same thing he has done it for Mrs. Makaranisa, he can do it for me. The same thing he has done it to Dora, he can do it for you. The issue is, do not lean on your own understanding, just trust. When you trust in the Lord, you must be a fool. You must be what? A fool. Sitaela. Sitaela, fool. Give me two hours in hand. The person that does not think when God says 12 o'clock, wake up, pray. Pray, and start praying. When God says, stand up, don't eat. I'll be seated here, I won't eat. I eat and eat. I eat and eat. I God is working good in your life. Say hallelujah. God is working something beautiful in your life. Hallelujah. There is something that God is still preparing in your life. Because his ways is not like the ways of men. By the day God elevates you. <clears throat> By the day God promotes you. Hey. If you trust in him, God can never leave you, I'm telling you. If you believe in him, God can never run away from you. If you trust in his ways, God can never leave you. Why? Because his ways are always righteous. Can somebody say hallelujah? Can somebody say hallelujah? When you go to the Lord, you say in Psalm 86 verse 11, Teach me your ways, O Lord. I will walk in your truth. I will walk in your truth, oh Lord. And unite my heart and teach my heart to fear your name. It's when you want to walk in the ways of God. You can also just write it down. Psalm 27 verse 11 said, teach me your ways. Oh Lord, and lead me in a smooth path. 27 verse 11. Pisalem, they are all Pisalms. Pisalem 86, 11. Pisalem 27, 11. Now, Proverbs chapter 10, verse 29. It says, the way of the Lord or the ways of the Lord is strength for the upright. Is strength for the upright. But destruction will come to workers of iniquity. Can I read it again? The way of the Lord is strength for the upright, but the destruction will come to the workers of iniquity. When you have jealousy over your brother, you will be destroyed. When you are working bad against your brother, you will be destroyed. Because by the way God remembers your brother or your sister, destruction will come to your own house. Hallelujah. 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 Now Deuteronomy 29 verse 5. This is what happened to the Israelites. I want us to read it. I have led you 40 years in the wilderness. And your clothes have not worn out on you. And your sandals have not worn out on your feet. Little. Deuteronomy 29 verse 5. I have led you 40 years in the wilderness. 
Kehalagar. Forty years in the wilderness. Your clothes have not worked worn out on you. And your sandals have not worn out on your feet. Let us close our Bibles. When we are in the way of God, we are fed, we are led. Now the last verse we have read says, we are even clothed. That is why you will hear, because you are born again, your friends will say, why when I'm around, I don't want to move on. Hanti when I was at sea, we were to be seen. I am a yami, I am a raria of feet. But still, it looks beautiful. Hmm? Usaperi, wearing still those shoes of three years ago, but still, the soul of your shoes are not wearing out. They are still intact. They are still fine. And every day when your enemy sees you, he said, Maramoto diajwa. Have you ever met such kind of people? Hmm? They will ask you, can you tell us, please? When you follow God, you'll never go astray. When you follow God, you'll never miss the point. When you follow God, you'll always be right. Not right so that you can tell people right because you are following God. When you follow God, you will never be lost. That is why you see Christians that are standing, they are still standing even today. If you are a Christian that is following God, you know where you are going and where you are coming from. God was still navigating and opening the freeway for them to go back to the promised land. So now it is also to your life. When you want God to fulfill his promise in your life, allow him to work in your life. When he is blessing this one, don't be envious. Just say, my time is coming. When he is lifting this one, don't be envious. My time is coming. When he is doing this to this one, don't be envious. My time also is coming. When he is doing this to another one, blessing the person with a car, a house, a job, whatever, whatever. Just tell yourself, my own is coming. And when my own comes, it will be a bow. Hallelujah.